Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, I am going to tell you about an interview question of Delta table. Okay, so I got this question from the one of the interview which was, I mean, which was happened uh, last week and uh, that was a very big company. Okay, so they asked me the scenario based question uh, on Delta table. They said that, hey, suppose you have one Delta table and someone has manually deleted the .json files from the underscore delta underscore log folder then what will happen if you try to read the data right this has to be uh, told uh, right so let's see uh, you know uh, how we can uh, do that and what and what what is the answer of it stop this video think about it and then uh, you know <laughs> then watch this video if you haven't know i mean if you don't know the answer right i'm also don't know so i'll just uh, do it and then i can let you know Right. I hope that you know about you know delta tables and so. So before going to that, I would like to introduce my course, which is PySpark interview questions, 15 interview questions and ratings. You can see 5.058 ratings. Learners are 155. It's less, but it's good. So this course has like close to 45 to 50 questions and you will be having a data set and uh, data set also you will be having as well as you will be having a notebook also with answer and answers also and it was having like easy medium hard question so if you prepare these 45 to 50 question definitely you can take any price pack interview round right you do not need to mug up like 100 questions 500 questions 1000 questions it doesn't make sense if you know the concept you can do it by 50 by solving 50 200 questions that is enough more more enough right Chalo. and all these other reviews you can just do it later you can just read it later i will give you the link in the description box so just go and read it and here see in the previous video i have told you about uh, this library right so i have already installed it over here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just use of it so i'll do this quick PySpark data frame i will add here some list of columns so let's say let's say first num underscore name last underscore name age thousand right that's it now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just just write it down in some of the location mode will be override <coughs> save as table and here i will be uh, you know defining one uh, path called file store okay s should be capital and table slash data slash delta underscore table right that's it now oh, what is happening Mm -hmm. something is wrong is happening where i am doing wrong oh it should be safe sorry my bad my bad my bad right so now i have i have saved the data into the path into the location which is dbfs location very good now what i will do if i try to show you right he what type of structure it maintain so if you know the uh, delta table then you must know that hey uh, it creates a underscore delta underscore log folder and and then we have a part files right like this is a data files and inside this we have a metadata folder so now if i uh, try to go deeper into this so we will see we will having here dot crc and dot json files right so 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 what is there in this dot crc file let's debug it then only i mean just understand it right so this is list so i do not need to use uh, list i should use here head so there is something 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 is there so what i will do i will do here display so display say we can easily read the display tha ki, okay this is display only so you can see there is something i not should not use display print instead of hmm now you can see we have like commit information right this is i guess one row this is second row right metadata we have we have like add path 
this is the data file right partition value what is the size all these informations are given over here now what i will do currently we we do have only one dot json file right so what i will do what i will do if i try to do any operations okay so if i try to do any operation let's say i am trying to do a kind of update okay so let me do it Mm, this is just select a star I have written. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do here. Let's say where age is 20. So, what I will do, I will write here update delta dot this. Set age is equal to not age ha huh, age is equal to 20 uh, 21 where age is equal to 20 like this i believe i have to use table also don't think so so it is happening you know now what i will do i will just remove some of the names over here so i'll just again copy it right and to we to just show you if I do this now, now you will see we have like two G, uh, dot JSON file, dot, uh, one zero and one. Likewise, what I will do, I will do here delete from this where first underscore name is equal to. Do we have any name? Let's say Levy. It should return me one row. Delete from function. It should be first name. Sorry, my bad. Now, if I run this dbutils.fs.ls, now it will be having three total JSON files, right? Come on. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Now. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, uh, you know, copy the same and try to remove this one. very good now if i try to again read the data right we'll see whether i i am able to do that or not it is saying that version 0 comma 2 are not contiguous this can happen when file have been manually removed from the delta log or due to s3 eventually when the table is deleted we get at the same location please contact it means what it is saying ki version 0 from 2 there is one is missing right <laughs> so we cannot go and uh, you know read the data what if if i try to remove geo2 also right very good now if i go and see the now i can able to do that right so ideally the versioning should be there i mean version versioning should be continuous over there it should not be like zero hai when one is missing then two is missing then three is there if it is in a serial manner then i believe then i believe there should not be any issue and if there is any gap then it will break it will break it right so this is what and also now if i try to do that see uh levy right i have removed something i have actually removed it but here i can see levy is here and the age are 20 20 only because what happened it it uh, it on now it is giving me only the latest i uh, mean not latest the the, the initial uh, version of it 
at the initial version version of it so what i will do i will do it this step again this step again and i will i will be seeing over here three uh, you know dot json but crc can be multiple right so let it complete it now what i will do i will i will delete 0 0 and 1 and we'll see whether can i do that or not because i removed 2 and 1 so 0 is there now what what if if i remove 1 and 2 uh, 0 and 1 and 2 will be there only we'll see what will happen right so what i'll do i'll just put here 0 and 1 right now if i try to do select a star from this It is saying unable to reconstruct state of a add version 2 as the transaction log has been truncated due to manual deletion. So, uh, which one I deleted? Yeah. See, we have 002 JSON file, right? Because of because we I I removed 0 and 1, it failed. Okay, so this is a very important question. Please go and understand about delta tables then only you will get to know i understood because i know it case i data table but now i did practical i hope you got it thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture please subscribe to our channel also